Hey, and so today's video, I wanna dive deep into meditation. If you're an entrepreneur or individual who values truly maximizing the use of your brain and truly maximizing your conscious experience of life, then you definitely wanna pay attention to this. So let's talk about meditation. Meditation's one of those things that everybody's kind of aware of. You know, most people who I talk to about meditation um, are aware of it. Some people have never tried it, but the, the most common thing that I tend to hear is like, yeah, I've tried meditation before. It's really hard to stay consistent with it. And I know I should be doing it more often. And so I've really set out to think like, and, and try to understand and discover why is it that, you know, meditation is proven scientifically through, through medical research to have insane, tremendous benefits for our life, but so few people do it. I think around the world, there's about two to 400 million people that meditate, which is a very, very small fraction of the population, even though meditation has been shown to have massive, massive positive benefits for every area of our life. And so, you know, number one, I think the main reason people don't meditate, well, I think there's a lot of reasons, but number one is people haven't truly understood and identified and attached all of the positive things that come from taking that action consistently. And because they haven't experienced it from doing it consistently enough, they really just are unaware and they don't know. Number two, you know, I think in such an overstimulated society that we live in today, people have a hard time sitting down quietly, being still with their own thoughts, right? It's like we can look at a phone and get lost in Instagram or Facebook or TikTok for a couple hours because we're constantly getting hits of dopamine, but when we're forced to sit down for five, 10, 15 minutes at a time in total stillness and silence with our own breath and our own mind, that's actually something really, really difficult. And so with meditation, you know, there's a lot of different things we can talk about, but today I want to talk about how meditation changes the brain and actually begins to improve your life. So studies show that in order to experience the benefits of meditation, you need to meditate for at least four weeks consistently every day for about 20 minutes at a time. And so what the research shows, number one is that meditation actually thickens the prefrontal cortex in the brain. And so the prefrontal cortex is responsible for a higher order functioning like problem solving, executive function, uh, critical thinking, being able to plan ahead and think about things um, you know, effectively in the future. And so if you're an entrepreneur or if you're somebody, maybe an executive, somebody who has a lot of responsibility, has a lot going on, has a lot that they're trying to accomplish, meditation is gonna provide tremendous benefit and value to your life. And interestingly enough, you know, meditation is one of those things where you have to do it consistently and you know, I can't explain it and really nobody has been able to explain it, but it provides these spontaneous shifts in your conscious awareness, in your personality. Like you will just begin to notice over time that when it comes to you being able to plan things out, you being able to problem solve, you being able to critically think, you being able to truly stay connected to the present moment, that these things spontaneously on their own just begin to change. So really I like to think of meditation as like a biological upgrade to your brain. So think of your brain as like a computer, right? And maybe your, let's say the brain has like 32 gigabytes bytes of RAM, right? And so if you understand, you know, RAM or like a computer and how it functions, essentially what's happening here is that when you have a lot of processes going on at the same time, it ends up using all of the RAM and the more RAM that you use, the slower the computer performs. Now, throughout periods of time, you know, what you may do is you will go in and try to reduce the amount of RAM, essentially reducing the amount of processes running at a single time. And so in a case like this, you know, meditation is the thing that does that. It's like basically taking your brain and reducing the amount of running processes at a single time. So it allows your brain to actually operate more efficiently and more effectively. 
Another benefit of meditation is that it actually improves communication between all of the components and nodes and hemispheres within your brain. And what this allows uh, you to do is actually think more clearly and think more effectively and faster really about anything, right? It's like when you reduce the number of processes and you pull yourself back into the present moment, and it's not like you're doing this consciously, when you meditate for consistent periods of time, it just shifts your personality, it shifts your conscious processing, it really shifts your core of who you are so that you become much more connected to the present moment. You're thinking less about the past and the future and you're much more connected to the present moment. And as a result of that, it allows you to experience more gratitude for everything in your life. It allows you to experience more compassion and it allows you to really process reality in the present moment rather getting rather than getting lost in things like fears and anxieties and what ifs and and worries and things like that another one of the most profound research studies that scientists and medical researchers have done on meditation is that consistent meditation actually reduces the size of the amygdala and the amygdala is that little p uh, size shape part of the brain right in the middle that is responsible for the fight flight or freeze response so anytime you feel stressed out anytime you feel you know fear or anxiety um, or adrenaline that is the amygdala going off and secreting those hormones into your body. But what they found is that people who consistently meditate, actually the, the size of their amygdala gets reduced. And so they've done studies where they take a, you know, two control groups of people, and the first one is a control group of people who have not meditated. And what they do is they show people images that would normally produce like anxiety or fear. And then they take that, that same group of people um, or, or let's say another group of people who are consistent meditators and they show those same people those same images and then they hook up obviously all these like uh, EKG scanners to the brain and they basically look at how the brain is lighting up and the consistent meditators predominantly statistically like an overwhelming number um, all of those people who have been consistent, consistently meditating their amygdalas do not activate the same as the people who don't meditate and so what this shows and reveals is that those who meditate have have better emotional control, they're able to regulate their emotions more effectively, and overall, they report feeling less uh, stress, anxiety, and fear in their life. And so what this shows is that, right, if, if you wanna be able to move through your life with less fear, less anxiety, less emotional volatility, and really wanna be more connected to the present moment and really be able to appreciate, have gratitude for this journey, for this experience of life, that meditation is definitely something you should begin practicing. And then last but not least, one of the most powerful and effective benefits that you receive from meditation is increased concentration and focus. Again, especially in today's world where you know, attention spans are shorter than ever. We have you know, a, a addiction to stimulation and social media. Being able to actually go in and focus and concentrate on things that are important to you without constantly needing to get distracted, without constantly needing to check your phone, being able to really get into deep blocks of work that allows you to produce and give value to society or whatever it is, right? In your work, in your relationships, you know, in your personal life, being able to just be truly focused and connected to the present moment where you can actually concentrate and focus on things for extended periods of time is a huge value because if you just look around, most people have a hard time doing that. Most people, in fact, would probably, you know, be self-proclaimed, you know, say that they have ADD or ADHD when, you know, I'm convinced that the reality is is that most people probably don't have ADD and ADHD. They're just so overstimulated and have become so addicted to technology and, you know, all of the stimulus in our environment that they've trained themselves to have a difficulty being able to just sit still for a few period, you know, a few minutes at a time. And so if you want to 
be able to regain control of your system, of your consciousness, you know, the practice, the simple practice of meditation will do wonders for really giving you agency and giving you back control over your mind and over your body.